Hey everyone and welcome to another deep dive. Ever feel like you're spending more time on spreadsheets than you are actually, you know, selling? I hear you. Time is money in the sales world, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So today we're diving deep into lead generation software and how it can help you reclaim those precious hours and boost those sales numbers. And we've got some great research to dig into that you sent over. Yeah, there's some really interesting stuff in there about how this technology can totally change the game. One thing that really jumped out at me was this stat from Salesforce. Yeah. They say salespeople only spend about a third of their time actually selling. A third. The rest is all admin work and like chasing down leads. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Right. So much wasted potential. Yeah. That's where automation comes in, right? Exactly. Think of it like this. You have a digital assistant who takes care of all those tedious, repetitive tasks for you. Data entry, follow-up emails, all that stuff that can bog you down. Okay, so it's like having a super efficient sidekick to handle the busy work. I like that. Exactly. And yeah. that frees you up to focus on what really matters, building relationships and closing deals. Music to my ears. <laughs> And it's not just about saving time either, right? Yeah. That HubSpot report you sent, they found a 14.5% increase in sales productivity when companies used automation. That's huge. And that's just the average. Some businesses see even bigger gains. So what does that actually look like in action? Give us an example. Sure. So let's say someone visits your website and fills out a contact form, right? Happens all the time. Right. And instead of that lead getting lost in the shuffle, the software automatically sends them a personalized welcome email maybe even suggest some relevant resources based on what they were looking at on your site. Okay, that's smart, I like it. And it doesn't stop there. It can trigger a whole series of targeted messages, nurturing that lead without you having to lift a finger. So you're not just bombarding people with generic spam. Yeah. Right, because we wanna be smart about this. Exactly, this is about working smarter, not harder. And that brings us to another key point, which is CRM integration. Now, for those who don't know, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. And it's all about getting to know your customers inside and out. Exactly. And this is where lead generation software really becomes more than just, you know, a glorified email blaster. It becomes your secret weapon for understanding your audience. It's like building this dynamic 360 degree view of every interaction a lead has with your company. 360 degree view. It sounds impressive, but what does it actually mean? Break it down for us. So imagine this. You, you click on a lead's profile, and you can see every website visit, every email they've opened, even their social media interactions. It's all there. Okay, so you've got your finger on the pulse of your customer. You really understand their journey. But how does that translate into you know actual sales? Let me ask you this. Have you ever gone into a sales call and just felt totally unprepared? Like you're flying blind. Yes, the worst. Right. But now imagine this. You're about to hop on a call with a potential client. Instead of going in blind, you check their CRM profile and you see, oh, they downloaded this specific white paper. They visited the pricing page three times. They even like to post about our competitor on LinkedIn. You're in their head. Exactly. And armed with that knowledge, you can tailor your entire conversation to address their needs and concerns right from the start. So no more generic pitches. It's all about that personalized touch. Exactly. And speaking of personalized, one of the case studies you shared, they found a 20% increase in conversion rates just by using more targeted marketing messages. 20%. That's incredible. So we're talking about hitting the bullseye every time instead of just, you know, hoping for the best. That's the power of data. Instead of casting a wide net, you're pinpointing your ideal customers. You're understanding their demographics, their behaviors, their interests, and you're tailoring your message to resonate with them on a deeper level. Okay, so no more throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping it sticks. <laughs> We're getting strategic here. Exactly. And that strategic approach pays off. The research you sent over showed a 10% improvement in ROI for businesses that use this kind of targeted marketing. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Measurable results. We love to see it. Mm -hmm. But this all sounds great for, like, individual salespeople. But what about teams? Yeah. I'm yeah. curious how this kind of software impacts, you know, collaboration and teamwork because at the end of the day, a sale is rarely a solo effort. That's such a great point, and it's something a lot of people overlook. But this is where the collaborative power of this technology really shines. Because it's not just about individual efficiency, it's about empowering the whole team to work smarter together. So less I and more we. Exactly. Love it. So how does that play out in a real sales team? Think about shared dashboards and real-time updates. Everyone on the team has access to the same information, the same insights. 
Okay, so like a virtual war room where everyone's on the same page. Exactly. So let's say a salesperson is on a call with a lead, right? And they need to quickly access notes from a previous interaction. Instead of interrupting a colleague or digging through endless email chains, they can just pull up that information instantly on their shared dashboard. That's slick. <laughs> and it probably saves a ton of time and frustration. Absolutely. And the McKinsey study you shared, they found that companies that improved collaboration saw a 20 to 25% increase in productivity. Wow, that's huge. So it really is a team effort. It really is. Lead generation software can help break down those silos and create a much more cohesive and effective sales organization. It's like they say, teamwork makes the dream work. But let's keep it real. We've talked a lot about the benefits here, but is there any downsides, any challenges to consider? Well, like with any new technology, there's always going to be a learning curve, right? And it takes time and effort to get things set up properly. So it's not like plugging in a toaster and watching the leads magically appear. <laughs> Laughs. Not quite. You need to choose a reputable provider with robust security measures and a clear commitment to data privacy. That's non-negotiable. Compliance with regulations like GDPR is absolutely essential. Especially these days, with all the customer information being collected and analyzed, transparency is key there, wouldn't you say? Both with your software provider and your customers. Absolutely. You need to be upfront with your customers about how you're using their data and give them control over their preferences. Building trust is essential, and that starts with being open and ethical in your approach. Couldn't agree more. Now, I know some salespeople worry that all this automation is going to make their jobs obsolete. You know, like robots are going to steal their sales. What do you say to those folks? It's a common fear, but honestly, it's quite the opposite. Lead generation software is a powerful tool, but it's just that a tool. It empowers salespeople. It doesn't replace them. So less about being a robot, more about being a... Uh what like strategic consultant exactly it frees them from those tedious tasks gives them access to better data and insights so they can focus on what they do best building relationships and closing deals makes sense adapt or die right? well i wouldn't say die but the salespeople who can adapt to this evolving landscape are the ones who are going to thrive because technology changes but at the end of the day it's still people connecting with people Okay, I like that. So it's not about replacing human interaction. It's about using technology to, what, enhance it. Precisely. Let's say you use your CRM insights to craft a really personalized message to a prospect, one that shows you genuinely understand their needs and challenges. That's powerful, and it's something you can't automate. So we're saying goodbye to those generic just checking in emails. Let's hope so. The goal is to use technology to make your communication more human, not less. I love that using tools to amplify our humanity, not erase it. Yeah. You mentioned something earlier about CRM integration and that 350 degree view of the customer. Mm -hmm. Can you break that down for us a little bit more? How can salespeople use that data to really up their game? It's about turning data into actionable insights. So imagine you're prepping for a call with a potential client, right? Instead of going in blind, you can use your CRM to access their entire interaction history with your company. So you can see what products they've looked at, what questions they've asked, even like their pain points. Exactly. You can tailor your entire approach to address their specific needs right from the start. It shows you've done your homework. You're not just another salesperson spamming them. You genuinely want to help. It's all about that personalization, building that trust right from the get-go. Are there any other ways that salespeople can use CRM data to their advantage? Absolutely. Lead scoring is another big one. Lead scoring. Now that rings a bell. Remind me what that is again. So basically, it's a system that analyzes all sorts of factors. Demographics, website behavior, email engagement, social media activity. And it assigns a score to each lead based on how likely they are to become a paying customer. So you can ditch the guessing games and prioritize your efforts based on, you know, cold, hard data. Exactly. Let's say you've got a lead who downloaded a white paper, attended a webinar, A&D, visited your pricing page. That's a hot lead. And the software can recognize those high intent actions and flag them for you so you don't miss out. Wow. It's like having a secret weapon, right? It really is. Now, with all this data flying around, is there a risk of information overload? Like, how do you keep from getting lost in the weeds? It's definitely something to be mindful of. That's why it's so important to choose a system that's user friendly. Okay. You want something with customizable dashboards and reporting tools so you can focus on the metrics that actually matter to your business. Find the signal and the noise, right? Uh, exactly. You don't need to implement every single feature or invest in the most expensive software right out the gate. 
Start small, experiment, and see what works best for you. Love that. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Precisely. Speaking of marathons, where do you see the world of sales heading in the next few years? Any predictions for the future of lead generation software? It's easy to get caught up in all the bells and whistles, right? But it's important to remember at the end of the day, sales is still about building those human connections. Couldn't agree more. Technology is an incredible tool, but it's that human element that truly makes all the difference. So as you're exploring the world of lead generation software with all its amazing features, remember to never lose sight of that human element. Absolutely. Don't let the technology overshadow your ability to connect with people on a genuine level. That's where the real magic happens. So true. We've covered a lot of ground today from automation to AI and beyond, but I want to leave our listeners with a little challenge. We've talked about how technology can streamline your sales process, but how can you apply those same principles, that efficiency, personalization, data-driven decision-making, even without implementing new software right away? What small changes can you make today to improve your communication, to deepen your customer relationships? There's always room for improvement. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most powerful. Absolutely. And don't underestimate the power of just asking your customers what they need. You might be surprised by what you learn. It's all about being adaptable, staying curious, and never stop learning. The world of sales is constantly evolving. Couldn't have said it better myself. This deep dive has been incredible. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your expertise. My pleasure. It's always great to chat about sales and technology. And to all our listeners out there, thank you for joining us on this journey today. We hope this deep dive has given you the knowledge and inspiration to supercharge your sales. Until next time, keep those sales pipelines flowing.